It's only a matter of time, y'all. It's only a matter of time. And really, the only thing that the powers that be have control over is time. So, that's why time feels like it's been sped up. It's the technology that's doing that. All they have to do is provide people the rope. And slowly but surely, society wraps that rope around their neck. They all do it. In different ways. You know, I think that empathy makes you crazy. I used to think that, that something was horribly wrong with me because I would read a newspaper article and just cry about it for days. But the more that I pay attention to our society and the more that I observe just how selfish and stupid and morally repugnant the majority of people truly are. And they might not be killing and raping and pillaging and all that shit, but it's like <sighs> So what? Is is that your fucking measuring stick? Like, oh well, I I haven't killed anybody. I don't believe in rape. Do you? Do you not believe in rape? What is that? You know how I feel about people parking and employee parking when they don't even work here. But whatever. <laughs> There's no signs that say employee parking. Shut the fuck up. You're just whining. I am whining right now. I'm like, I'm just I'm very upset today, y'all. I'm very upset. I had a bad dream. Which is nobody's fault but mine, really. Because <laughs> it's my subconscious, you know? And I, I have to... I have to do this. I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of this parking job. I gotta get my shoes. I'll be right back, Vortex. Oh, just hit my head. It's all right. Which time? All right. Apparently, like, if you're dropped on your head as a baby, like, you'll probably develop schizophrenia. So, I, I was probably dropped a number of times. Because <laughs> I'm way disorganized. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I took medication a long time ago. I, I, I took medication um, to turn down my emotions. And what ended up happening, and uh, in case you didn't know, 
like one of the side effects of SSRIs, that's selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, is antidepressants. Um, one of the side effects is that like you're not able to cry. And I used to get so angry because crying is something that I do exceedingly well. If you're not familiar with this channel, like anybody that is knows that about me. Okay, congratulations. I'm glad that I'm glad that you can take it because a lot of people can't. They're so afraid of tears because they're fucking pansies. Now I understand though that um, a lot of people use crying as like a manipulation tactic to get what they want something I've always noticed about females if anybody thinks I'm being hard on females it's because they don't pay attention to human behavior I do I always have so I'm gonna make claims that are gonna make people very angry and I don't care because you don't pay attention if you don't agree with me you don't pay attention and I know that sounds like a real a real arrogant statement to make but um I know that other people can see it though. Like, I've had people like flag me down, stand up, and people reach out to me on YouTube and Rumble, and they, they're like, like you really see things the way that they truly are, and if people get offended, it's because they they can't. They they've they've got their blinders on. So I guess it is tormenting me in a way. But I would rather be tormented than be fucking numb to everything, you know? Okay, 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes today. We were like 30 minutes the other day. But my manager has asked me to stay tonight. And <laughs> I lost my debit card, right? I lost my debit card and it was gone for like a whole week. I need to do that more often because, like, <laughs> you know, I have the tendency to buy stupid shit that I don't need, and I know that I don't need it, and I literally said that to myself last night. I went out and got some curry, and I got sick, so hopefully that'll teach me for a little while anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I threw up last night. It was not fun. see that? It's terrible. That means we broke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not just the glasses, but us. <laughs> we can't afford new frames. Are you kidding me? Frames are so expensive. They're almost as expensive as the lenses. But... <sighs> I did go to the grocery store, though, so that's good. some more spinach so I can tr continue to make this green goo that you see right now. Don't you want some of this? Don't you want some of this? That's, that's health right there. See that? That's what it looks like to be healthy. I didn't used to be like super health conscious by the way. That started a few years ago. Well, maybe not a few years ago, like seven years ago. Like when I started doing stand-up comedy, that's when I, I took it to the next level. And everybody that I worked with at Wendy's was telling me that I was the healthiest person they'd ever met. Well, it doesn't take much, you know? I mean, look at Americans. Look at, like, the state that most Americans willingly put themselves in, in relation to health, okay? It's, it's not hard to seem like you're doing it right when everybody around you is doing it wrong. 